Welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add the new cache to R718 project. Now, before we get started, if you could hit that subscription button or subscribe and hit the notification button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now, we have to extract the cache. And once it's done, we need to rename it to just cache. Okay. Control X to cut go inside and go to data with data and paste it replace all files the next thing that we need to do is we need to open up our Eclipse we need to refresh so right click on it and refresh right click on this one and refresh now that's working correctly the next thing we need to do is edit the cache again the reason why we're going to do this is because now that we added a new cache we need to make sure we have the items that we had previously reset so first of all we want to open items and the item ID we need to look for is 6964 so 6964 okay we want to scroll down um, I'm going to find it so 6964 Okay, 6964 is here. We want to duplicate this and we're going to put it as 2997 and click OK. So there's your successful changes. We go all the way down. So 2997, here it is. And there's that one. Don't worry about this one. This one here will uh, disappear once we save this. It, this will override it. So now here we want to do old queens. Okay keep the same sort of uh, model ID, model zoom, rotation and so forth. It doesn't have equipped and stuff like that, but it does have an inventory option of use. So that should be, I believe it was a second option. Okay. Now that we've got all that, the extras down here don't matter either. So this is all that we need to know. Then we want to save. So we're going to click the save button to change it to a saved. Okay. So now that we can click out of this, but before we do, we want to go to NPCs and we want to open NPCs. We're going to go to 308. I went a bit too far. Okay. 308. And we want to duplicate this one. And save it to one triple five seven and click OK. There's already an existing one. Would you like to override it? So let's have a look quickly. One triple five seven. If there's something there that's actually done, see how it says no? I wouldn't worry about it because no is not important. Okay. Just confirming because you don't want to override something that um, it actually exists. So let's just do that. I'm pretty sure what exists in that null reference spot is just a um, pet corgi. So a dog that follows or walks around the game. But we can easily get that, put the model back in later and so forth. That's not a problem. Okay, so anyways, 308. We want to right click, we want to duplicate this, and we need to go one triple five seven. And yes, we want to override it. Savers were changed, and now we need to change this to Tom's Fishing Supplies. Okay. And he has a talk to, he has no, he has pickpocket, no, no. Okay. So the pickpocket needs to go, and we need to put trade there. Okay and we want to save that we can make it invisible on map so he doesn't show as a dot on the map but we don't want to do that we can change the model IDs which changes like his um, clothing and appearance and stuff like that you know what I mean what he's wearing in that and then you've got the chat head so that's self-explanatory chat head you've got modifier colors and modify textures you can edit to change colors and textures of certain parts um, but we can show that later on. 
now that we've actually completed that, we can go back to this one quickly and this use method, cool, that's correct. It's got a drop method, cool, that's correct. Old coin, beautiful. So save that again and then we want to click out of this. Now just to see that it's working, we want to go launcher, then loader. Okay. I'll just show you a quick example of what I mean that it's working because I checked this after my last video because I was going to do a different video first and I wasn't able to do a different video because of this being an issue. Okay, so don't mind this. I was um, in the middle of trying to get the tutorial islands uh, completed. So that will be in a future tutorial, which will come in handy we're going to make our own tutorial island it's not going to be the one that's already pre-coded because it doesn't work it's going to be simplified but it's going to work that's going to come later later down the track after we've learnt a lot more things now if we click on this smelt we can now see the bars down here on the last one we couldn't actually see the bars they did not show the icons or the writing so now that we've fixed that we can actually quit out of this and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you can hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, comment down below if this video was helpful and also put a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.